Welcome back. When the Hyatt Regency Atlanta opened in 1967, it immediately became an icon of downtown Atlanta thanks to a striking architectural design. Yeah, and now one of the hotel's most unique elements is back open, ready to welcome diners with good food, good drinks, and the best views in town. And good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at Polaris this morning. And Paul, there's no better place to be than on top of the world, right? Yes, uh, top of the world right now. It's beautiful up here, too, and it's been fun to watch it change this morning. So when we got here, of course, we had that high cloud cover. Tough to see out the windows now. The sun is coming up. That fog is burning off, and it's gorgeous up here. And we are so glad to say Polaris is back open to the public. It reopened in December. It has been packed ever since. And I tell you, you come up here, you sit down for a drink, for a meal, you look out on the city. It doesn't get more Atlanta than that. So, okay. We talked about the views. This looks great. I'm starving. That's where these guys come in. Our trio of culinary wizards, James, Angus, Thomas. Great to see you guys. Great to see you again. How are you? It's so great having you back. Yeah, it's great to be back up here. So, of course, the pandemic hit. Everything closed down. You guys stayed closed for a while. And you were saying before the real idea was to build the right team and honor the legacy of Polaris, right? Correct. You know, it's such an icon in the city. So we want to make sure it was the right team behind us. Yeah. that we're producing and putting out the best product possible. Yeah. And we're lucky that we've really built that team and you can see in the numbers that are coming to enjoy the oh, meals. Yeah, yeah. Well, people have, have spent cherished moments here since 1967. This is such a fabric of the city. Uh, talk about what you do up here. What do you serve up here? Yeah, so for us, the main uh, focus on food and with height especially is food totally sourced, carefully served. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're per, uh, helping the local economy. Yeah. We're producing great product that's in season, that tastes great. And you see that in the menu. The menu changes about every six weeks. Oh, nice. And Angus gets to really showcase his talent and his skills by all these local products. Yeah, well, so Angus, let's talk about that local tie-in. What we're looking at here, I mean, this is stuff that you source literally from places you can see from up here, right? Yes, yeah, so that's a really cool thing. When I talk to guests and tell them that it's locally sourced, I can point over there in uh, Moreland <laughs> Avenue, uh, Spotted Trotter yeah. is on Moreland Avenue, and he's doing really good New World charcuterie. Uh, and then a little further out by the Starlight Drive-In is Mary's uh, Farm, Decimal Place Farms, and she does great goat cheese. Uh, and then Do South Pickles, uh, one of yeah. my friends, Nick Melvin, and he's got some chow chow and some angry cukes and some drunken mustard. And it's just really cool to be able to tell a story to a yeah. guest that everything is coming from right where they can see. And it's, you know, it's about as local as you can get and then telling them that I can get honey right off the roof and yeah. James our beekeeper uh, is putting our honeycomb onto our cheese board to finish it off and yeah. I mean that's one of the coolest things I can do yeah. as a chef and say you know I'm actually doing locally sourced stuff and yeah. it's like right in the neighborhood yeah and such a mission of this hotel is supporting the community and you're doing that in so many ways including through the food so wait let me come around here so James I love the whole bee aspect so what people may not realize and you can see it from up here we'll show it later on Good Day Atlanta you've got hives on the roof of the hotel yes right, right now we have 12 beehives wow. uh, over on the international tower roof yeah uh all of our honey that's used up in polaris is from the beehives so Incredible. we use it in desserts uh daishan uses it in the beverages yeah so it's actually pretty amazing yeah i mean what happens is the bees leave the hives they pollinate around and then come back so i mean it, it is hyper local stuff yeah they will actually go as far as three miles away wow for foraging so we do know they go to botanical gardens yeah. king center carter center <laughs> uh it's pretty amazing it's amazing to learn every day and watch them work and yeah, see what they yeah. do. Yeah, and again, it's fun to actually be up here in Polaris and you can look down and you can see the hives. Now, what is this gorgeous looking dessert here? It's this futuristic, high tech, what is it? Yeah, so this is our signature dessert for Polaris. It's been on the menu for, I think, about six years now. Yeah. Um, so it's the Polaris Blue Dome. Uh, it's a flourless chocolate cake with a honey caramel center and Ooh. chocolate mousse. And then we spray, spray it with a blue cocoa butter. Yeah. And we uh, to tie it into Georgia a little bit more, we add a pecan and praline. Oh, so. man, it looks amazing. Okay, well, if you don't mind, I'm going to step around here. I'm going to reach, whoops, let me, let me get to my, let me get to my fork. There we go. Reach in and get my fork here. It is time to dig into the blue, oh, look at this. As you dig in, look at that. It's so soft and, ah. Oh. 
You know what that tastes like? Oh, heaven. Tastes like Atlanta, my friend. Tastes like Atlanta. That yeah. tastes like Atlanta right there. Digging into that blue dome. Yeah. That is so good. And again, to, to enjoy food like this, to know it's local, and then to look out and see your neighbors like that, you can't mm -hmm. beat it. Look at that view. That view yeah. is unbelievable, unmatched. I can just imagine how that honey tastes, though. Oh, my God. Right from the rooftop. I love how they're like, okay, where do you get it? Right over it's, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> just the it's not just a view. It's, it's, we will show you later. You can look down on that. You will see James in a bee suit when you're up here. Oh. Oh. Down there working with the bees. It's very fresh cool. honey. Yeah. Are you, wow. you going to have a suit on too? Or are you going to just go like straight? Just like no, yeah. I'm just going to. I'm, I'm, I'm mean, a little busy with this. He's right? beelining straight to that food is what he's doing. I, exactly. <laughs> testing the honey. Exactly. All right, yeah. Paul. We'll see you a little bit later on. Thank you so much. Good morning. From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day Atlanta at 9 a.m. Still ahead this morning, something to look forward to. The Flying Saucer, 22 stories atop the Hyatt Hotel, is back. And Good Day's Paul Milliken is in downtown Atlanta, where Polaris Restaurant is back, baby. You know it. Yeah, Caitlin, I know you love this place. You have a special story about Polaris. So many Atlantans do. It's been here for a long time. And we're getting very fancy on Good Day Atlanta. I don't know what's happening in this box, but I know it's going to taste good. And we're going to find out coming up after the break. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. An iconic piece of the Atlanta City skyline is now back open. Polaris is the rotating restaurant and lounge atop the Hyatt Regency Atlanta, which was designed to give diners a panoramic view of the surrounding city. And what a view it is. Current staffers say they're so excited about extending the legacy under that unique blue dome. And Good Day Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live in downtown Atlanta this morning literally on top of the world <laughs> our world <laughs> got it okay what's your story caitlin tell us your story well, about when I, polaris I yes hear it. when you were teasing this earlier i kind of brought me back yeah. uh, one of the first dates for my now husband and myself was where you are right now and we, sh we shared I love a dessert it. I love that. we shared a dessert paul <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I want pictures or it didn't happen. I want the pictures. You know, Caitlin, so many people have those stories. In fact, already on Facebook, people are saying, hey, I celebrated my wedding there back in 1969. I mean, this place has been around for a long time. It is truly a piece of Atlanta history. And now the story has a bright new future. Hanging out with two of the guys responsible for that future. It's so great to see you. Devraj is the director of operations. Daishan is the general manager. First of all, how excited are you? You are back open. Folks are in here. Here they are enjoying Polaris again. It's been a long time, two and a half years that yeah. we've been closed, finally open. I joined the Hyde Regency Atlanta team about 10 months ago. Mm -hmm. The only thing I heard was, when are we opening Polaris? Yeah. So now yeah. we are open, <laughs> book, make your reservations. Yeah. Uh, and then we have so much to celebrate. You know, Hyatt's commitment is to expand our um, minority vendor right. uh, base by right. 10% by 2025, and the Hyde Regency Atlanta is leading the way. Yeah. So here we've got um, an amazing uh, variety of different uh, black owned and minority minority vendor yeah. products. Yeah. Uncle Nearest is uh, is a really fun one for us. Um, it's the only female-owned, black-owned uh, distillery in America. Hmm. And uh, actually, Nearest Green uh, taught, um, what's that, Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels how yeah. to make uh, whiskey. Yeah. So we're super excited. Uh, it's in one of our cocktails, the um, Uncle Nearest Old Fashioned. So yeah. come, and give it a, come and give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, what a cool story and a cool way to support businesses as a business yourself. And again, just to welcome people back in and let them try out some of these products here. Speaking of, Daishan, you, you've been doing something special, and I don't know what it is, but I can't wait to find out. So what, what, what is this? What's in the box, sir? It's our smoked honey old-fashioned. So there's a drink in there? There's a drink in there okay. for you to taste. You know and it uses, utilizes these products, which is Ryan Sons by uh, Andre Houston Mac, which is a match sommelier. We also use Equiano Rum, which is one of the first... Uh, Caribbean and African rum. Wow. In America. And we also use our Polaris honey. Yeah, something we talked about in the 8 o'clock hour. You've got hives, like literally around, you can see them around the corner. There are beehives on the roof, and so you take the honey, put it in the drinks. So what's happening in the box here? So we, we do we smoke the old-fashioned? Yeah. It was that we make it a little bit sweet, uh -huh. and then we smoke it just to mild it down, okay. give it a little bit of balance okay. for everybody to enjoy. Yeah. And then it also and then, comes with, I'm saying, a small little show. 
Oh, I love the way that looks. Now, if that's not a show-stopping drink, and it comes out on the tray and everything, that's amazing. So, you know, I mean, look, I'm an investigative journalist. I'm going to have to try it on TV, right? Might as well. Okay, you're fine with me going ahead. Absolutely. And- Wonderful. Yes. Gentlemen, this is a cheers to a true Atlanta icon, Polaris, back and better than ever. Cheers to all of you out there. Man, it keeps getting better and better. I mean, I thought, look, the food was great. The drinks are just as good. The view is perfect. This is very, very cool. And, and, you know, uh, quickly again, the reaction you must be getting from people. I mean, I've heard there's already been marriage proposals up here. It's uh, it's overwhelming. People want to be a part of this. This is the last or the only rotating restaurant in uh, in the South yeah. and one of the few in the country. Yeah. So, um, you know, the space is limited, but you can go on open table, mm-hmm. make a reservation. Yeah. Daishan's already been a part Part of two uh, proposals here and many more to come hopefully. I love that. What does that feel like when that happens right in front of you up here? It's an amazing feeling because you see some like the happiness and knowing that somebody's about to start their future right yeah. here with us. They let us be a part of that journey. So yeah. it's crazy and amazing to be a part of people's journey and anytime they tell that story in the rest of their lives we're included. You're included, right. Yeah. Just like with our own Caitlin Pratt back <laughs> at the studio, one of her first dates right here. Although, yeah. now was Tim cool enough to do the whole revealing <laughs> smoky box thing or no? Was he not that slick? He was not like, that Caitlin? slick, my Tell friend. <laughs> he was oh, not Tim, that slick. Come on. <laughs> Disappointed, buddy. What an experience <laughs> it is there. I love to see it. Thank yeah. you so much.